Hello, hello everybody. Thank you so much for joining today's call. I'm really excited to have our guest, Jennifer Dell. She is a lifestyle photographer out of Houston, Texas. She's been using sticky albums for a while, up to some amazing things. She's actually speaking at this year's Click Away conference. Um, so if you're attending or thinking about attending, there's gonna be some really good stuff there. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to get her on the call and just see how things are going. And there's a couple things that immediately caught my attention. So she's got a beautiful video on her website. And so in today's call, we're gonna talk about the strategy of getting a video done. And then also Jen Jennifer's got some great tips on how to leverage partner marketing in your business. So working with other small businesses in your industry, in your local city, it's just such a no brainer. And I, one of my favorite marketing tactics to talk about. And so we're gonna learn a lot, a little bit more about Jennifer today and, and how you can start using these tools and tactics in your own business. Jennifer, welcome to the show. Hello, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So um, how long have you been doing photography? And tell me a little bit about your, what keeps you going? What's your, what, what makes you passionate about the business of, and the art of photography? Okay. Um, I guess I started in high school um, back when it was film and, you know, the dark room and all that good stuff. But back then you didn't really go to college as much to study photography um, after a long time of not really succeeding at anything else in college. I went back to um, an art school for graphic design and photography. And from there, once I graduated, it was a choice of going into graphic design or into photography. And I decided to start my own business and do photography instead. So it's been about six years since I opened up my doors. And um, I've loved every step. And it's been a lot of fun. That's awesome. So tell me, you've been doing it for a while now. So what is that moment? Do you feel, do you feel like those moments when you're like, yep, this is what I'm supposed to be doing and all it makes all of the hard stuff and dealing with the, the, the challenges of running your own business worth it. Like what are those moments for you? Um, a lot of those moments lately have been with, um, I have some really great clients that I've worked with for several years and it's just been watching their families grow mm -hmm. from the first baby to the second baby to the third baby and you know, getting to photograph maternity sessions and then um, meeting their children and watching them grow has been really, uh, very enjoyable for me uh, to be cool. part of that process. So yeah, that's that's huge. I think that early yeah. photographers um, they they don't realize the value of building the relationship long term and how much okay. repeat business you can get from mm -hmm. your existing customers. I was I actually did a video um, last week with Sandy Putch. She was in town on her tour, and oh, she's yeah. working on this very cool legacy project where she's actually going and taking pictures of other photographers because we oh, are that's so, so neat. we're so bad at taking pictures of ourselves right yeah our own family pictures Definitely. but she talks a lot about that too where it's when when you can be part of the journey of a family and in doc help document year after year after year it just yeah. becomes there's, there's no competition right it doesn't matter once you've made that that base that relationship yeah. it doesn't matter how many people decide to be photographers this year yeah. and how many comp how, what what the competition is doing what promos they're doing this month that just doesn't matter right you it doesn't I am um, one of my favorite families I was in Italy on my honeymoon and she called me crying because she she was eight months pregnant and completely forget forgot to uh, actually set her her appointment and I knew she was pregnant because we'd worked together in the past and yeah. I photographed her last pregnancy and so I mean just building that relationship and knowing how important it was to make sure she had me photograph her instead of somebody else that she hadn't worked with was really um, it was really heartwarming. So that's, a, that's I, pretty cool. That's just a good, a good reminder. What are some of the, um, the tools or processes you use to make sure you're following up and, and keeping engaged with your existing client base? Um, I send out a newsletter every okay. quarter, so Sweet. that's one way I do. Um, my blog, even though I've kind of fallen off the blogging this uh, this summer with uh, three kids and everything going every direction, um, but I, I do think that the newsletter and Facebook, um, even though Facebook's gotten a little strange, uh, mm -hmm. are two ways that I try and keep up with uh, most of my clients. They tend to be pretty interactive on Facebook, and since they recommend me to their friends. It becomes kind of a little community. So when they see their friends, um, 
they tend to comment on those images or, mm -hmm. you know, they'll email me to say, oh, I forgot, you know, I know you just photographed so-and-so and I'm due for a family session for the fall. And so then they contact me again. So it's just kind of constantly staying in front of them and being sure to communicate back and forth and be as friendly as I possibly can. And Perfect. So, yeah. Just very, very simple things. You just have to execute simple. on them, right? Just remember to make sure you're, you're taking stay on steps. top of it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very cool. Well, let's let's switch gears. Um, I, I want to talk about the video. I didn't. I don't even know how well this is working for you, but as I was sharing before the call, I'm just, I'm a big nerd about mm -hmm. good video with a really good emotional soundtrack in the background, mm -hmm. and whoever you partnered with did a really good job of, of yeah. composition and really good simple transitions there's nothing fancy about it but it's yep. i think it's such a, such a good job of capturing you and yes. all the way down to like the the, the humility <laughs> you show at the very last second right? oh that yeah last little giggle like it's <laughs> like that is that says so much about who you are as a photographer yeah. um that a bunch of portfolio images and a long paragraph just could never por um convey on on your website right so Let's break it down. Let's go from, let's start from the end, the results, and then we'll work okay. our way backwards. So a having done it, how long has it been up and what kind of results and benefits has, have you seen yeah. from doing it? It has been up three years, okay. um, about three years. And mm -hmm. my SEO jumped pretty quick. Um, it got me to the first page in Google, which is really hard to do in Houston because mm -hmm. we're a big city. There are quite a few photographers. Um, so being, you know, on the front page of the Google search for, Houston family and Houston baby and Houston child. Um, that helped a lot. Uh, I know Google likes videos. Yeah. Um, and then I also posted it again on Facebook. And yeah. so that's been a great way to kind of get a little bit more interaction there as well. Uh, mm -hmm. it, I've had really great feedback with it. Uh, everybody that was in it is an actual client of mine. Mm -hmm. And they were so excited and happy and proud to share it as well. And so it's been, it's been a great experience. It was something that I had wanted to do and I waited and found the right person, mm -hmm. um, the right company to do it. So it, it was important to me. That's awesome. So you've definitely, there's there's a lot of, sounds like there's a lot of intrinsic or subjective like return on the investment. When it's just, it's a meaningful thing to do. Um, yeah. It's it not necessarily, you can necessarily say, oh, I booked these five clients because I did this, right? Yeah. It's very, it just, it's one, strategy that combined yes. with everything else you're doing is, is was worth doing. Um, so go back to your clients were nervous to be in front of the camera. Yeah, I was really nervous to be in front of a camera because uh, that's not something I've done before. And I don't even like to be in front of a, a regular camera, much yeah. less video. Right. And towards the end, I kind of, you can tell I'm a little nervous, maybe a little um, uncomfortable. So it kind of we wanted to keep that in there because it kind of shows a little bit more of actually who I am as opposed to just being this perfect, beautiful video. And uh, you get a little bit more of my personality. So I like that part of it. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so you're, what do you recommend to somebody who doesn't yet have one done? And mm -hmm. what's the process for selecting somebody um, in, in, in getting this project? What's the budget they should plan on spending? Stuff like that. Yeah, the budget was the first thing that was um, what I encountered. When I started doing my research, it was a matter of I wanted a high quality. It was uh, three to 5000 So yeah. in Houston, that's pretty average if you're going to do a video. And that was for a minute and a half, I believe. Yep, got it. Um, yeah. One video. And uh, I really want somebody who could tell a story as opposed to just, this is a photographer, she takes pictures. Mm -hmm. So I wanted more interaction. I wanted my clients to be able to have a little bit of a voiceover so they could chit chat and get that experience out as well. Mm -hmm. uh, so those were the most important things. And so I actually wound up founding, finding a, um, a wedding photographer yep. who flies across the world wow. doing these really amazing videos and they were really great storytelling videos. And so yeah. I contacted them to see if they'd be interested and they, they jumped on board and the one thing that I really wanted to express to them that I wanted was the light. I wanted the light to be right. Um, I wanted kind of a warm, bright, mm -hmm. gooey, glowy feeling since that's, you know, what I tend to try did and they, capture. Did they have sample videos that you could see and you like, I want to do, I want something like this? They did. Um, they had quite a few on their website actually. I think they post just about every wedding that they've ever done. And mm -hmm. I know that they had some commercial stuff, but I didn't want it to feel commercial. Right. I didn't want, you know, that cold feeling. I wanted it to be more warm and family and uh, more 
I guess, friendly. Yep, yep. So that's why I wanted to go with more of like the wedding uh, okay. feel to it. When I booked them, it was after they had started doing the storytelling series with these brides where they would start at the beginning of the day and yep. then the very end would finish with the wedding and the after party and all that. And the speeches were kind of intertwined and interviews with family members. And so that storytelling approach was why I decided to book them. Perfect. I wanted, it was a full day of shooting. Perfect. It was great. Perfect. So. Awesome. Thank you for sharing that tip. So yeah. there you have it, guys. It's definitely worth the investment. If uh, your business is growing and you can afford, I think that's a pretty standard budget, de depending is. on the different cities across the country to plan for. And mm -hmm. by and large, you're going to get what you pay for, right? If you are looking to only spend a couple hundred bucks, it's going to be really hard to get something that you're proud of. Yeah. Um, I would say if you're not at the the, the, I, don't, I don't think there's a reason to spend like $500, right? It's either invest the full thing or if you can't quite afford that yet and you want to have a video, use something like Animoto. So we now, you can now embed both YouTube videos and Animoto videos right inside your sticky albums. And one of the key things I like to remind photographers as you experiment with maybe doing video yourself for mm -hmm. clients is audio is yeah. so important people will watch oh, like people will watch a video on youtube or wherever it is um mm -hmm. with image quality that isn't quite perfect right mm -hmm. they'll put up with it but yep. when audio is bad it's, it's terrible it's people <laughs> it like hurts your brain like people can't they won't watch it right yeah. and so even if you were to sit down and get a decent usb microphone or um just some kind of other they sell like really easy portable uh, like micro USB or micro SD card record recorders, right? Yeah. Go on a shoot, interview your customers, get them talking about what it's like to work with you, stuff like that. Just getting that audio. Yeah, that's is, the important. Is really important. And then you could play that, that audio of you talking about what, why it's important, what a little bit about yourself, just mm -hmm. dialogue that can be mixed in with some nice music. Oh, yeah. and audio of your customers yeah. just behind stills if you if you don't have the budget to do all video as well it's true um it's a good place to start so um and when you're doing that that whole workflow keep that in mind if you are selling a video package or a slideshow to your clients mixing in some video of the session of them like giggling or talking or whatever it is into the background it just adds a, a whole nother emotional layer to your work all right, enough about content stuff. Let's get to um, one of my favorite topics is partner marketing or network marketing. So how did okay. you, what's your approach to this and, and were there any missteps you felt like you took when you first started? What was your, the motivation to getting started like networking with other businesses in your area? Okay. Well, when I first started doing joint marketing, the idea came about um, when I was talking with one of my clients who is, she's very well tied into um, her group of people. And I like to say, you know, find a big mouth client who will chat you up to everybody they meet. This was my big mouth client and I love her to death and she knows that she is and I, <laughs> we talk about it and she was friendly with the owner of one of the biggest um, high-end baby boutiques in Houston, wow. one of the originals. And so she had mentioned, you know, why don't we go and chat with so-and-so yep. and we will see if we can get you in. And she pulled a few strings and got me in and because this was a very exclusive boutique and so she got me in and so we, I want to I want to pull this whole story apart. So lesson number one is start with people you know, right? Yeah, definitely. Just, just um, constantly. going in cold to any business, it's you've got to start slow and build a relationship over time and establish trust before you start asking, "Hey, can you help me with this thing?" Right? Yeah, no, definitely. Um, and it just happened to come up at the end of one of our shoots. You know that I was looking to find a boutique, and she mentioned that she knew somebody. We got in the door there, and I designed a giant gallery, a wall gallery of six canvases, um, and we put them up in one of the crib nursery type vignettes that they do. And so they put those on the wall, and then along with those, I designed some really nice. Um, we call them the VIP cards, but they were triple fold lots of images on it um, and then you open it up and it says we think you're you know 
fabulous. Mm -hmm. Let's let's treat you to a VIP treatment. And mm -hmm. um, so they got a complimentary eleven by fourteen mounted prints if they booked with me. So it's kind of like a little. A little something for them uh, as well. Okay, let's. I'm gonna pull that apart. So let's That's see. Fine. So you you offered to you took pictures of mm -hmm. of using the pictures you took of your friend or what what were the pictures? No, of? I used um, some images of one of my clients. She's actually in the video as well. Okay. Uh, her newborn baby. Okay. Just uh, I really wanted something in there that matched with the rest of the boutique's feeling. Yeah. Um, since it was mostly newborns and babies, we right needed on. to go with something uh, along those lines. So the, their customer base is new moms, right? Yes. So they're coming in to, they're, they're selling products for like, to, to help really high-end nurseries, right? Very high-end nurseries. Um, we're talking a few thousand dollars for bedding. Nice, so, nice. you know, that's the, that's what That's the type of client you want to focus on, right? That's, it is. That's the market that, that's going to that are appreciate quality and mm -hmm. good design, and that, those are the exact types of customers you should start with. Yeah, they want they want custom. They want you to come in and design the wall gallery for them, and just order it and have it done. So what value did you offer the boutique? What what did they get out of it? The owner of the boutique got a complimentary session, and uh, then from there she got three digital images because it was around fall, so I knew she wanted them for Christmas cards. Yep. Um, which meant she sent them out to all of her friends. Perfect. So I was okay with that. And yeah. then she ended up um, purchasing some canvases of her boys and stuff. And uh, she put a few of those actually in the store as well and at her home. So it, Fantastic. it worked out really well. That's awesome. And then so in exchange for that, you got to put a marketing piece. Yes. That you printed up. And where did that get? How, how did people come across that marketing piece? They had those. The um, the sales associates had those, and they only offered them if they knew that it was definitely going to be a client that I would work with. Um, Interesting. So they were kind of well versed in what we were looking at. So these were, you know, it was very much a, much a uh, your VIP here. So they yeah. really, it wasn't out on the counter. So there was nothing like that. Um, it was down behind. And out of sight, uh, which is the way I wanted it. Yeah. I wanted it to feel more exclusive. Good for you. That's really so, smart. Yeah. And what kind of results did you get out of that? Like how many sessions do you think you Several got? sessions a month. Um, yeah. It was, especially right off the bat, um, it was great. And uh, over time, you know, it's still, it's continued to be a couple sessions a month and they tell their friends and, yeah. you know, it's been this really. It's growing from there. Mm -hmm. So is there any kind of followed up benefit, like, did, what what is there anything you're doing to continue to to nurture that relationship? Definitely. Like, what um, else do they I, get out of this? Definitely. I uh, I still shoot her family every fall. Perfect. So I mean, I just couldn't imagine being like, hey, put my stuff in your store, but you get nothing in return. <laughs> exactly. That's what I so, keep coming back to. I think people. It's very easy to skip past that. It's easy for new photographers to see, oh, all these people could help me. It's like, well, you're just gonna turn them all off. You know, yeah. wants to work with somebody who just wants to take. You've always exactly. got to start with, okay, how, everywhere you go in your city, you should be thinking like, what could I do for them? What, how could I help these people do what they're doing? How mm -hmm. could I help them accomplish their goals more exactly. effectively, right? And that's yeah. going to give you, that's how you get your foot in the door. It is. Um, that, and I, I really, I always recommend joining uh, the Chamber of Commerce because that's also another great way to kind of meet other small businesses that you might have something in common with. You guys can work towards a common goal. Right. So. Very cool. Um, so in that spirit, I'm going to share with you a tip. What a lot of photographers are doing with this partner marketing yeah. is you can surprise this, this mom um, so what, let me brainstorm with you. What kind of products? So they sell bedding. Do, do they is furniture there that, bedding? It's and clothing. Everything. Do, like, do they have like is it like a, a new like? Do they get new clothing styles every season? Oh yeah, okay. every season. And we've tossed around the idea of possibly getting together and photographing a few of their their very um, established clients that have been coming for yeah. years um, and maybe doing like a model call type thing with their clothing and their mm -hmm. their um, their VIPs uh, just to kind of offer a different um, approach to what a cool way to get them all to the store right yeah Every, like exactly. so do like a fun event mm -hmm. champ they do champagne and mimosas or whatever oh, yeah. you always have to <laughs> right and then have have some like your little studio set up and then in a, in a corner and then they all get to try on fun clothes yeah. and 
you get an opportunity to, to give that, like they all get a free app of their exactly. pictures, right? Yeah. And what's fun then is the, 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 what we're all getting to here is you can make a sticky album that's custom branded for this boutique. So instead yeah. of you putting your lo your photographer logo on the top, mm -hmm. you put their logo, yeah. their contact information, and it's called like the our fall lookbook. Yeah, or oh, fall see, digital so lookbook yeah. or something like that, right? Definitely. And then in it can be some a, a coupon image that yeah. is show us this app when you book and save ten percent off your first purchase. What you can get creative on what the coupon is, yep. and then of course you have your own coupon that's in there mm -hmm. also like and, what's the, even, yeah, and they're going to want to share that with all their friends because it's got a coupon for you know fancy pants baby clothing and exactly so yeah exactly it's passed around um and so last tip now that we've just added this new feature in sticky albums with the new version so is uh, a promo feature so mm -hmm. you can add uh, an email opt-in form or registration mm -hmm. form inside any of your sticky albums. Oh, that's so, fantastic. So let's say you make this coupon book or this digital lookbook. Mm -hmm. You set up a opt-in that comes in at like the fifth image. They swipe five times and this form comes in and says, enter to win a free whatever. Like think of a cool giveaway that's something the, that target audience cares about, whether mm -hmm. it's free hundred dollar gift card or a free product or whatever it might be mm -hmm. right something that's going in, oh yeah I'll, I'll get that and then yeah. so enter to win this thing that catches their attention just subscribe to what's the name of the the boutique doodles subscribe to the doodles newsletter mm -hmm. to get updated um like uh, I'm trying my best to make, I'm not an expert on <laughs> <by> nurseries. <laughs> um, Baby stuff. So I'm just mm -hmm. working this out in my head. So it's like, uh, mm -hmm. subscribe to the newsletter to get weekly or monthly tips on new uh, baby fashion or nursery ideas or tips yeah. and special discounts, right? Yeah, a lot but, of these parents are wanting the new trendy. Perfect, So they yeah. want to be on top of that anyway. And so it, what that does is it just, it's a good job of priming them. Like this is what you're subscribing to, right? You're being honest. This is about subscribing yeah. them to a newsletter, but yeah. you're, you're being transparent and saying like, when you subscribe to the list, not only do you get a chance to win something awesome, mm -hmm. but just for subscribing, you're going to get something awesome too. They're going to get weekly or monthly tips on things they care about and discounts mm -hmm. already. So you can set it up so that as soon as they register, you say, thanks so much for entering, and you can send them, here's a coupon. So let's say you're giving away a $100 coupon. Yeah. You can send them, everybody who enters, a $10 coupon right yeah. away, right? Yeah. So they're like, oh, wow, this is really nice of them, and it just keeps, then they're going to be sure to open the email when you or the boutique adds them to their list, right? Definitely. So it's a great idea. Um, and then uh, video, again, is awesome have yes. somebody who's shoot if you're shooting any video of like that fun fashion day yeah and i shoot video too now so Perfect. um yeah so you can embed that. that video in the gallery so they can look at like what was the whole experience and everybody's yeah. going to be check it out look at this fun day i got to go to <laughs> and everybody there is sharing it um Definitely. and then uh other ways it gets promoted um is you can start partnering with other vendors too so it becomes mm -hmm. like a coupon book possibly yeah or for this um, doodles, like they can add this to the bottom of their email signature or their newsletter. It says, download our fall right. lookbook yeah, with special a, coupons. And yeah, yes. see, that's a great idea. So that's the full-fledged coupon partnership app use yeah. case. Um, <laughs> You set it up, and I'm, I'm excited. You'll have to follow up with us and see. I will. I'm going to have to set it up before I go to Clickaway so I can chat about it and uh, meet with some of when I'm doing the uh, you know, platform. Uh, Perfect. That. That'd be yeah. super. I would. I can't wait to see what it looks like. Oh. We've got. We're working on some cool templates to help people build those types of things. So also. exciting. So I'll, sh I'll share the templates with you also. Okay. And we'll add those the same templates we've got um, to this blog post as well. Um, right. So this is really good, Jennifer. Thank you so much for taking time to chat yes. with me. Of course. Um, where can people go to learn more about what you're up to? Um, my blog, I guess, my blog site, uh, or Facebook, but, um, uh, you know, Facebook is these days. Right on. So, yep. Well, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. And you have an awesome rest of your thank day. Thank you. Cheers. You too.